Hello, welcome to 2D AutoCAD Civil Lesson Guide 1 prepared by Ekemini Aso 4. This is introduction to 2D AutoCAD Civil um, as applied to civil engineering. Um, we are going to look into setting drawing units, setting drawing limits, setting dimension style, creating layers and use of common drawing and modification tools target audience this lesson is specifically prepared for people who have never used autocad before who do not want to who do not know how to work with autocad but wants to learn the lesson has been simplified to the level that even slow learners would be able to understand at the end of the lesson so if you have had a fair knowledge of autocad this lesson is not for you you would have to skip this lesson aim and objectives the aim of this lesson is to introduce beginners to drawing and modification tools commonly used for 2d civil engineering drawings in autocad such as building floor plan elevation as well as structural drawings and detailing at the end of the lesson learners should be able to set drawing units turn on and off drawing limits set dimens dimension style create layers for each element draw a line using line tool circle using circle tool rectangle using rectangle tool arc using arc tool will be able to mirror image rotate objects trim lines move objects copy objects scale objects and apply fillets to lines as well as offsets and then uh, erase then break lines layer properties layers are prim primary method for organizing the objects in a drawing by function or purpose layers can reduce the visual complexity of a drawing and improve display for performance by hiding information that you don't need to see at the moment before you start drawing you have to create a set of layers that are useful to your work in house plan for instance you might create layers for uh, the floor plan doors windows fixtures electrical uh, elements and so on i would say that you should not worry about this uh, definition and all these contents for the moment at the at the moment because we are going to illustrate it practically we are going to see all these things how, how they are done the all this um, write up i'm going to really explain it later if i explain it now it might not be it might not be meaningful to you under this topic i shall show how to create layers turn layers off and on hide and unhide uh, layers freeze and unfreeze layers lock and unlock layers set layer ma and match layer properties i, I want to uh, pause here and um, make you understand why i put some of these uh, letters in in capital letters and um, in bracket uh -huh. now these letters you see here like the first one here lay off l a y o f f this lay off alone is a shortcut to achieving a turn to uh, achieving turn off layer if you want to turn off your layer instead of going to the ribbon look for that uh, icon for turn layer off you can just type lay off enter and you can start doing your manipulation so any any uh, anything you see under in inside bracket in this slide stand uh, stand for shortcut that you can be you can use to uh, uh, operate on a certain uh, uh, drawing that you want to do illustration guide during illustration on autocad each layer shall be assigned properties as shown be below you know 
in a building plan definitely you will have walls you have symbol for windows you have symbol for doors you have other symbols so many symbols so it is like the definition said that is 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 very very important for you to create um, layers for each of these elements for easy uh, identification and clarification and it's going to you know there are some things that you want to manipulate and it's going to make it easy for you if you just take everything and maybe assuming all the elements I assume I use white color the same same line name as in the same layer name the same line with everything at the end if, if the project or the drawing is so complex if you want to edit or apply certain properties it's going to be so tedious for you to you have to click this one and select this one you go select select so to avoid all those things when you create these layers you know if i want to apply a certain property all the walls you know all the walls once i just check assuming i want to change color from white to blue once i just go to layer and change to blue all the walls no matter how big the drawing was we just change automatically to blue so that is one of the importance we do this we do the same thing to window we do same thing to window level and then this is a simple drawing that i came up with it's not even a complete uh, building you know it's just a room and veranda the the the, the, the key point the the, the the most important thing is that i wanted to capture a window door uh, wardrobe and um, the the internal dimension external dimension and then all this uh, internal level room door level and window level so that is why i came up with that simple i think once you understand the the, the the simple one you understand the principle you can apply it and you can draw as big as any any, any drawing is so those we apply the similar uh, properties to door we apply it to door label and so on wardrobe internal level external level internal dimension and external dimension there are so many things but you know, for this small drawing for this small um, drawing that we are going to uh, make use of uh, you don't really need too much label but there are some complex drawing that level you have to you have to create so many layers you know so many layers you know if, if, if you are really going to use do complete architectural drawing you know you have to be you have to do those um, internal uh, internal furnishing you know you have to put chairs all those things and uh, you have to push wash hand person you have to label and all those things you have to keep keep different layers for them so that you'll be able to manipulate anytime you want so we are going to look into common drawing tools which are very important i i i, I picked because i've used autocad for a long time now i have been able to know the, the especially for civil engineering 2d drawing i've been able to identify those tools that are very common that you use frequently there are some tools that are there that you will never use but there are ones that you do that there is no how you are, you are not going to use them as long as you are drawing in, in civil engineering uh, drawing a uh, architectural building or any building or any any civil engineering drawing so i will at the end of this uh, this particular uh, topic i will be able to show how to draw a line circle rectangle and arc etc and then under modification tools Modification tools are also important. These tools are very important. In fact, I selected them because they are they are you they are used frequently. There is no how you avoid them. Though there are other modification tools that you might not use. In fact, you might not use throughout your, your use of AutoCAD. But these ones are very important and are used frequently. Is to include um mirror rotate stream move copy scale fillet offset and so on so when we are doing practice the real practice we are going to touch each of these we are coming back to this slide i will put this slide side by by the side i put the autocad uh, screen by the side and we are going to follow this slide one after another
that is why I took time to write down this guide so that when we are doing it we will not be jumping from history we are going to follow this the way it is present, presented so like I said this is a simple drawing uh, that we are going to use can you can see a mere looking at it you can easily identify the elements you know if I was using white white you you you, str you str str strain your eye you know to see where the window and where you have door and all those levels but you see the color actually make it so clear you can see the window you can even see the door you can see window level you can you know so those are the the main uh, function of creating layers and assigning those properties so this is going to be the end for this lesson if we cannot achieve this lesson in one video we are going to split the video into two so for now while waiting for the video I implore you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to turn on the notification so that you will be notified when the video on the AutoCAD lesson is uploaded. It doesn't cost anything, please. It doesn't cost anything. When you see, when you hear the word subscribe, please don't don't run. It's just free. Not it, it doesn't even cost. It doesn't even take time. Just click on the subscribe button and it's done. As simple as that. Thank you so much for watching. Till then, bye.